I'm done. Do you all remember back when I first told you I was reading that book? A really good afternoon book, I have found. It's a big book. I'm just taking my time with that one. Well, I finished, finally, about a year later. And let me tell you, that was a, that was a journey. <laughs> now I can read that short list of shorter books that I have on my bookshelf. And then one of these days, maybe I'll read uh, War and Peace. I have a feeling I would like that one. This book, man, it's a lot. It's a big book. Sometimes I read more like a textbook on whales than a novel. There were like five chapters in a row devoted to the history of literally every whale sighting ever and any scientific study on whales, their movements, and their behavior. And then later in the book, there were like three chapters on the anatomy of whales, but the ending I was not expecting. Was it worth it? I think so, if even just for saying that I have read it. Interestingly, the amount of tangents that the book went on actually uh, helped in creating this feeling that you are actually on the journey because it felt long and monotonous. And by the time we reached the end, I was like, yes, I have been on this voyage for a year. <laughs> Boom. Done. Take that. So let me just nerd out real quick about the technicalities of music making, because I just found this amazing pack of VST instruments. Now, I don't know if you've ever gone searching for affordable VST instruments. Probably not, except maybe Johnny, but I, you make a lot of your music yourself, so I don't know why you would be searching for VST instruments. But essentially, VST instruments are the sounds that your DAW, your digital audio workstation, uses to make the the music because when you play it on like a, a keyboard or something hooked to a computer it reads it as computer language and then it translates it to the sounds that you tell it to translate it into and so these sounds are like real instrument playing notes on their instrument and recording it and then putting those sounds into a keyboard layout but like even the most cost effective good instruments are like 300 bucks or more and that's for like the string section so you have this whole orchestra that you gotta find and it just quickly becomes enormously expensive and i will tell you i have had the hardest time finding free options that actually work because they always have their little quirks like like one patch i have is like a free trial thing which basically means some of the aspects of it aren't free for me to use which is basically all of them even just a normal piano sound is even hard to find at an affordable price. The one I currently use does this really annoying thing where you can adjust the velocity of the note, so how loud it plays, but if you go above 50, it goes from like really quiet to really loud really quickly. So jumping between these loud and quiet notes and it sounds really weird. All that to say, Spitfire Audio just came out with this bundle of free instruments and they're actually good. Apparently these people at Spitfire during quarantine just decided, hey, well, let's make a pack of affordable free instrument for up and coming artists. It's the coolest thing. So I finally have a good string section just to show you some examples. Here's the music box. Ah, what a great tone quality. What else we got? Sleigh bells, Arctic swells. Listen to this. Got some strings, scary strings, handbells, textural pads, trumpets. And then the blessed soft piano. It means a lot to me, and I look forward greatly to getting to use these as I continue to work on this musical. Just having a good piano sound is a blessing. What is that? All right, nerd fest over. Okay, that's a lie. I have one more thing to show you. I think you can hear this, but even something as simple as... Do you hear how I'm playing the same note, but it sounds like I'm playing three different times? It doesn't sound exactly the same every time you play it. It cycles through different sounds, even on the same note. That's a tiny detail, but when you're playing with a fake instrument and you want the guitarist to play the same note three times in a row, you don't want it to sound like exactly the same because then it sounds fake. The little nuances of that are what make the instruments that are so expensive, expensive. Like I have this one specific part in a song that I have the violinist just 
doing the same note. Fum, 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 back and forth. And the cheap instrument that I'm using right now, what I have to do is go in and individually, like, change the velocity of each note to sound random so that it at least gets louder and quieter. It's not at the same volume every time. So it sounds a little bit different, but it's still not great. With an instrument like this, when you do that, it automatically sounds so much better because every note doesn't sound the same. It's little details like that. That's why I'm so excited about these instruments. So these are the first free instruments I've ever found online that actually sound decent with those little details. And now it's time for random questions. This is the weirdest thing. What is happening? What is happening here? It's just my phone on the chair legs. Oh, that's a completely wow. different coat. No, it looked like it was part of your pant leg and you had put it. Can you not? <laughs> <I'm working. laughs> it looked like it was your pant leg and you would put your pants over the chair and then put your phone on top of your pants. Would you rather be powered by batteries for the rest of your life or have a limited amount of gigabytes of space in your memory? I already have a limited amount of gigabytes in my space. I'll take that one. But what I mean is like, once you get to like 45 and you wanna like learn how to make a new recipe with zucchini, you have to forget how milk smells. That would be actually pretty cool because then I could just like expunge extraneous information. Mm hmm Like all those things I teach you in school that aren't important. I don't need to know how many planets are in the solar system. I'll go with that one. You realize we kind of are powered by batteries? It's called food? No, no, no. <laughs> powered by batteries like uh, you have five AA batteries and you change them every couple of days or you die. That honestly sounds a lot easier than eating three times a day. No, you still have to eat. You're still a human. Oh. Okay, well the second one still. You wouldn't have to hold on to all those things that bother you in life. That person who cut you off in traffic, you just immediately forget about it and you got more free space. Why did we have to do this outside? Look at my hair! It's getting long again. I think I'll grow it out. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next week.